Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to VR Essentials, where you can catch your weekly dose of VR educational entertainment. Now, I was just shooting another video, which I'll be releasing on Sunday, about the VR cover for the HP Reverb G2 accessory. Um, however, there is some news that just dropped about the VR for the PlayStation 5. Now, why is this big news, even though it's gaming and we focus more on the practical uses of virtual reality? It's because the technologies that are developed for the various different VR hardware manufacturers can carry through and push the boundaries of the technology within this industry. I have to say that the design of these controllers look really cool. It's going to be the very first time in VR that we're going to have something that looks like this. It's going to be interesting to see whether ergonomically, whether they're going to tilt on one side or whether they're going to be balanced on both sides. Uh, according to the design is the first thing you'll notice. Yes, with our next gen VR controller is a unique design which takes on an orb shape that allows you to hold the controller naturally while playing with a high degree of freedom. There are no constraints with how you're moving your hands, providing developers with the ability to create unique gameplay experiences. So that's pretty cool. Now, in terms of the features of the actual controller, they're going to be adaptive triggers, which basically means that when you press on, a, on one of the buttons, the harder you press, then it will do a bigger effect. And then the softer you press, it will also have that kind of adaptive feedback. So that's pretty cool. And apparently it's something that's already on the PS, um, you know, on the PlayStation controller. So if you have a PlayStation, you'll be pretty much used to this. In terms of haptic feedback, the new controller will have haptic feedback optimized for its form factor, making every sensation in the game world more impactful, textured, and nuanced. When you're traversing through rocky desert or trading blows in melee combats, you'll feel the difference, magnifying the extraordinary visual and audio experiences that's so central to VR. So that's going to be very interesting to see also because of this orb and then the haptic going to go through all the entire controller. Ah, very interesting to see. Tracking the VR controller is tracked by the new VR headset through a tracking ring across the bottom of the controller. So again, depending on the technology that they're going to be using, we always we all know for the moment that infrared technology is the best tracking technology because you can switch on with an IR light, play night, day, anytime you want. It's absolutely amazing. All right, so in terms of the buttons, there'll be some action buttons and this kind of thing. So nothing out of the ordinary for this. And it's very exciting because they're already going to be starting to send out a batch to all the various different developers around the world so they can implement some of the games with these awesome looking controllers. I'm so pumped the PSVR 2 is coming out soon. We don't know exactly when, but very excited because it will be, you know, the first consumer kind of quest competitor. So all good for the industry. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video, which will be the VR cover accessory for the HP Reverb G2 in a couple of days time. Ciao, au revoir.